Samsung is finally going to launch its first ever QD OLED TV next year, according to an exclusive report from Korea. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, Vincent Theo from HDTV Test here. According to Korean website etnews.com, they have an exclusive scoop on Samsung Display finally reaching an agreement with Samsung Electronics to start supplying QD OLED panels so that Samsung QD OLED televisions can be launched next year. Now, before I go ahead and discuss this breakthrough, it is important to understand the difference between Samsung Display and also Samsung Electronics, or more specifically, Samsung Visual Display Business Division. So, Samsung Display is a panel manufacturer and they are responsible for supplying the OLED panels in your smartphones, let's say the iPhone and also the Samsung Galaxy phones. They will be using OLED panels that has been developed and manufactured by Samsung Display. Whereas Samsung Visual Display Division is the arm of Samsung Electronics, the big conglomerate, which is responsible for making all these televisions that you see in stores. So for example, the Samsung Neo QLED, the Samsung QLEDs, and even the Samsung Micro LED televisions, they will all be manufactured and sold by Samsung Visual Display Division. So the situation has been like this. Samsung Display wanted to make QD OLED panels, but you know, Samsung Electronics or more specifically, Samsung Visual Display Division has been resisting it. And the reason why they have been resisting the offer of QD OLED panels from Samsung Display Division is very simple. That is because, first of all, Samsung Electronics or Samsung Visual Display Division has its hands in so many pots already. They are already selling mini LED TVs this year or what they are marketing as Neo QLED and they already have their quantum dot based LED LCD televisions which is marketed as QLED. They have regular UHD televisions and they also are making micro LED displays for those wealthy consumers who can actually afford it. So they are already involved in so many display projects and to add a QD OLED project you know, into the mix is probably going to be very confusing for consumers. And also, you know, Samsung has actually been undermining or attacking OLED technology because its arch rival LG Electronics has built its brand up based on OLED, yet Samsung Electronics still doesn't have an OLED TV on its books since the original RGB OLED they did back in maybe 2013. So they have been undermining the viability of OLED TVs by saying that it is not bright enough, it doesn't have enough color volume, and most importantly, you know that OLED televisions may suffer from permanent screen burn or OLED burn-in. But I think, you know, the hands of Samsung Electronics are sort of forced now to accept QD OLED panels from Samsung Display for one or two reasons. Now, Samsung Display doesn't only deal with OLEDs, they also deal with LED LCD panels. So they are responsible for making LCD panels and selling them. And there was originally plans to shelf or shutter their LCD manufacturing business at the end of last year because, you know, the panel prices had been driven really low by Chinese competitors and they just don't see any profit in it anymore, which is why they diverted a lot of their resources to start this QD OLED manufacturing line in Asan, South Korea. But the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the situation somewhat because with COVID-19, more and more people are staying home and everyone needs a TV to watch or to entertain their kids or to start homeschooling on laptops or to do voice conferencing with lots of maybe LCD monitors. So the supply of LCD panels globally has actually gone down and inversely, the prices have shot up. So 
That's the reason why Samsung Display Corporation or SDC has continued manufacturing LCD panels even now, you know, after the end of 2020 because, you know, there is money in it now. There is money in the business, in the LCD manufacturing business now because of the explosion in demand due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I think, you know, LG Display, who had similar plans to Samsung Display in closing down their LCD business, they have decided that they will be continuing as well because the panel prices have gone up and therefore there is profit to be made again. So that is from the point of view of the supply of the LCD panels, but Samsung Display still initially planned to stop its LCD manufacturing business at the end of March in 2021. And then Samsung Electronics is slightly worried because its whole QLED and Neo QLED business is based on LCD panels. And if Samsung Display start to close down or shutter its LCD manufacturing business, that means that Samsung Electronics will have to start to depend on Chinese manufacturers to procure their LCD panels. We're talking about CSOT, we're talking about BOE or some other big fab LCD making companies in China and Samsung Electronics doesn't really want that to happen. Korea doesn't really want that to happen. So what Samsung Display Corporation and also Samsung Visual Display Business have done is to reach an agreement and the agreement is like this. Samsung Display Corporation will continue making LCD panels until the end of this year, end of 2021, and they will be supplying these LCD panels to Samsung Electronics for use in maybe their new QLED mini LED televisions in their high-end QLED televisions. And in exchange, Samsung Electronics or Samsung Visual Display Division will be procuring the QD OLED panels that Samsung Display Corporation has actually developed and pitched to not only Samsung Electronics, but also to many other manufacturers as well. Now, initially, obviously, Samsung Electronics is hesitant to take these QD OLED panels and start putting them into the televisions because of, you know, the term OLED, you know, they have been attacking OLED for so long. Suddenly, you know, they adopt OLED. How are they going to explain to their customers this change in strategy that, you know, maybe OLED is actually superior in picture quality. And also, again, I stress that Samsung Visual Display Business Division has its hands into a lot of, you know, display technologies. We're talking Neo QLED, we're talking QLED, we're talking UHD televisions, we're talking micro LED TVs. So suddenly, their hands are sort of forced and they reach this agreement where Samsung Electronics will be buying QD OLED panels from Samsung Display Corporation and in exchange, Samsung Display Corporation will also be extending its LCD manufacturing business until the end of the year and supply these LCD panels to Samsung Electronics. So this is what is probably called a win-win situation, just like stick and blow which is my definition of win-win. But you get what I mean. So. That is the situation we find ourselves now. And obviously, Samsung Electronics being the smart company as it is, you know, it cannot let people know that the QD OLED TVs that the company is going to launch is actually OLED based. So they have adopted this term QD display to describe these televisions. But at the core of it, if we break down the structure, and I've explained this in a previous video using some sketches which I'm not really proud of, that the structure of this QD display is still based on blue OLED material. So there will be stacks of blue OLED material to generate the light, and then there will be red and green quantum dot converter to convert this blue OLED light to red and green respectively, whereas the blue light will still pass through, so you get a true RGB subpixel structure, which may prove advantageous over the WRGB OLED structure in terms of color purity. But that's the situation we are at now, and we are certainly excited, I am very excited to learn that next year we could possibly see the first maybe semi-affordable 
self-emissive television from Samsung Electronics since 2013. Obviously, they are selling their micro LED televisions, but those start at maybe six figures or even higher, and they are not really affordable by any normal consumer, you know, including myself. So the launch of QD display or QD OLED televisions is certainly very exciting, you know, and it will give more competition to LG Electronics and also LG Display in terms of their OLED TVs. And I have so many questions about Samsung's first, you know, QD display, you know, what is the peak brightness going to be? What the DCI-P3 color gamut coverage is going to be? What sort of compensation they have actually built in to try and reduce the risk of screen burn? Because at the end of the day, it is still based on OLED or organic material technology. And, you know, just lots of questions that me or any other normal video enthusiast would ask but i'm very excited about this news that next year it is very possible we can see the first qd oled tv from samsung electronics if you would like to learn more about next gen display technologies i've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and i will see you in the next video <music>